episode of Your Smile Continues. I just want to speak to us today about our emotional availability. You see, in the dating scene, that is key. What is the emotional availability of the person you actually matched with? What is the emotional availability of the person you connected with? It's one thing for you to actually tell yourself, well, I just got rejected because maybe I'm not their type. I just got rejected maybe because I don't have the right credentials. I just got rejected maybe because she's not into guys that look like me. But maybe you're misinterpreting the signals in which she gave. You see, a lot of us need to know that a woman is in a different mind state and it depends on where she currently is emotionally. You might have just been rejected because she's actually dealing with her ex-boyfriend. You might have just got rejected because she's in between situations between two other guys. You might have just been rejected because she's actually emotionally unavailable because she's focused on her career. She's focused on building herself. She's focused on growing her business. She's focusing on giving herself to her family and actually getting closer to her loved ones. So this is the reason why she's probably not interested in your match this is the reason why she probably rejected you she probably did not want to go out on that date with you and this is the reason why she flaked because a lot of us need to know that for interest to build emotional availability has to be available yes and how do we go about this stuff we go about this stuff by actually when we approach see when i approach a woman very interested i just go and say hello Hey, my name is Eddie Khan. Nice to meet you. She introduces herself and then I ask her, hey, something about what's going on around what's around us. So let's say we're downtown in a scenic city in a metropolis and there's a Starbucks coffee, there's a movie theater down the street, there's some passerbys. There's just all kinds of situations occurring and all kinds of activity happening. That is where my conversation will come about. Hey, what brings you to a great metropolis like this? Oh, chilling in the gas lamp district must be really exquisite. As in it, that is not a sense of validation. That is a sense of me being able to gauge how she actually interprets her interest and her wa- and her worth. Because she takes the route of, oh yeah, you know, this is typical for me. I usually like to dine out in the finest of places i usually like to shop in the most expensive of places and i usually like to do the most exquisite and intrinsic things because i just could afford it and my looks actually warrant them that actually gives me the ability to be able to gauge that she's a narcissist just for my approach and then i hit her with the deuces but if i introduce myself and i ask her hey hey it's quite interesting meeting you right now cast lamp district pretty fast activity what brings you out here and then she actually make it back oh, i'm just here to visit my brother oh, i'm just here to see the bay i'm just here to see the beach i'm just here to go to ucsd i'm just here to actually do things in la jolla that actually gives me an understanding that she actually is bringing her person to the game and she's not actually bringing her representative because her representative would be the mask that she puts and the brick wall that she puts another for every person who's not serious and every person who is actually not layered and actually wanting to get to know her on a deeper level can't get past and this is how I get to know that she's actually emotionally available and then I always always offer to give my number because that shows confidence because that shows that hey I can take it I can leave it and I actually don't want to be in the confident feeling that hey, I actually have control of this thing because mother nature has already handled attraction and there's nothing I could do about attraction so if she's really interested she would actually use the number and if she's not there's no reason for me to pursue if the onus is on the woman to actually let me know what her emotional availability is because a woman will just take a guy's number because the majority of women do not want to be mean they don't want to reject a guy yes and most of them don't want to be you know slapped upside the head or all sorts of things happen because a lot of guys get really fragrant these days whenever they get rejected and this is the reason why a lot of women get fake numbers get fake profiles and they just actually tell you what they want to hear you to listen and then you have to kick rocks 
but you actually have to pay attention to the fact that her emotional availability is what you actually gauge her interest upon. And this is when you actually offer your number because you're showing confidence and you're showing your ability to actually believe in your own magic, that you can actually progress things, that you can actually wait and be patient and not have to be in control. And this shows the confidence because if you were to ask for her number, you would already want to jump the gun and start wishing her good day, start asking her how her day went, start asking her what she did. And she might not just be ready for that because you haven't been able to gauge her emotional availability. The only thing we show in approach, the only thing we show whenever we get the eyeball call from a woman is the fact that we're confident. And an eyeball call is the same most important thing as what? Eye contact, attraction, noticing me, giving me a signal, making me know that you've chosen me, an eyeball call. And whenever you receive an eyeball call, it could be between one to three seconds, and then you have to take advantage of it. If not, she thinks that you're not confident enough to make it an approach. And this is the reason why women like guys who are very confident, guys who are very assertive, the assertive male, not the passive male. And this is how you go about taking advantage of the interest in which you build off your direct cold approach. You've gone, you said hello. You've gone, you said hi to her. You've exchanged pleasantries. You've had a tiny bit of fluff talk. You've offered your number. She's taken your number. Now you have to go home and relax because you have to remember it's a numbers game. And she's probably dealing and talking to multiple guys so you can't just assume that you met her today you can automatically catapult yourself to number one you have to be patient you have to be very very calm and know that it's a numbers game and this is how you get to interpret her interest because her interest is based off on your attraction Yes, this is the reason why you want to date her. And she has to be able to get to your level. So I want you to mirror her as usual. Don't overextend yourself more than she has overextended herself. I want you to wait and match her validation. She tells you you have a nice house. You tell her, hey, I like where you're staying. She tells you you drive a nice vehicle. You tell her, nah, I love the car you have. You match and mirror her validations. You never jump out the gun and just start bringing things out of nowhere because everybody starts to freak out and starts to get wary-eyed like, who are you and why are you showing that you're insignificant? Because whenever you start to validate somebody else, they start to interpret that as you're trying to hide an insecurity. This is the reason why you're butt licking them. This is the reason why you're trying to get in their good graces. And this is the reason why you're trying to flatten them up with the pleasantries and all the things that I want to let you know that are actually going to kill the attraction and interest in which you build. So I want you to know that the key aspect was the fact that when this pandemic hit, a lot of guys had to deal with the situation that majority of the dates that they were going to, majority of the relationship they were, they were in were just temporary because they haven't received calls, they haven't received texts, they haven't received messages from all the girls they were dating. Nobody wants to see them, nobody wants to FaceTime them, nobody wants to call them, nobody wants to do anything. And this is because they actually did not get to build upon the attraction. You actually have to take the onus of actually texting, of actually following through, of actually checking up, of actually giving yourself the opportunity to cultivate the new skills. So when you can do this, and then you give yourself an opportunity to actually meet more people. And this is the reason why you need to take advantage of social distance dating. It gives you the opportunity to use your dating apps, use the websites, use the forums, use the blogs, in order for you to actually understand the dating scene. And this is how you're able to date through hobbies. Because whenever we come back to normalcy, we we'll always have to learn to date through hobbies, dating through activities. Hey, you're interested in me and I'm interested in you. 
How about if we went to the pool hall and actually played pool? How about if we went bungee jumping? How about if we went rock climbing? How about if we went horseback riding? How about if we went skiing? How about if we went snowboarding? How about if we did activities other than going to get a drink, going to eat, and doing all those things that people usually do to build attraction. I want us to go out there and build stories, go out there and build experiences, and then I can really pay attention to how confident you really are. And this is what gives us the ability to actually build interest. We actually have to know that the main aspect of this whole process is the fact that we actually have to stay consistent with our purpose and with our work and with our grind. And this is what gives us the ability to stay steadfast and stay with our self-improvement because this is where we keep the confidence. This is where we keep the vibrance and this is where we keep the ability to maintain our swag, the ability to remain charming, to remain creative, to remain authentic. It's because we're actually doing the work. You're actually going to the gym in order for your endorphins to pump so you can be activated in order for you to be invigorated and in order for you to feel captivated whenever you're on a dating scene and whenever you're talking to any stranger and this comes from the self-improvement and the self-improvement comes from how you should learn to carry and see your worth when you're learning to text and when you're winning to call you actually have to know I need to text this way. I need to call and sound this way because this is how I get to build interest and attraction. And she will always be back. And I want you to know that. But these are the tips and these are the strategies and the techniques in order for you to maintain your life of abundance while you actually and go over it yourself, do some shucking and jiving, and actually learn to maintain interest through a woman's emotional availability.